Today we're going to show you how to measure light intensity within a greenhouse. Here we have a variety of quantum sensors to measure light intensity. Now these sensors are measuring instantaneous levels, basically meaning the light that's reaching the crop at a particular time. As greenhouse growers, we're interested in determining how much light our plants receive throughout the course of a day. With these four sensors here, we basically have to have them connected to an environmental computer or some sort of data logging device like, like a data logger. There, those data loggers are basically collecting that data and we can then place it into a spreadsheet where we can calculate that daily light integral. Now here, we have two different sensors that will basically log those instantaneous values and calculate the daily light integral for you. When measuring light in a greenhouse, it's really important to ensure that your quantum sensors are obviously working. You want to make sure that they're clean. So what we do is we use a non-abrasive cloth, such as a Kim wipe. We'll wet it down with deionized water or reverse osmosis water. We're basically cleaning each diode to ensure that we're taking accurate measurements. We're making sure that we're removing any dust, water spots, soil or substrate or pollen that has accumulated on each diode. We want to do this at least once a week. Another important thing to do is to make sure that your quantum sensors are level. Here we have a single diode quantum sensor that's placed on a mounting plate with a leveling sensor. We can adjust and make sure that our sensors are level with these small screws. Another thing that you want to do is to adjust the height of your quantum sensors. So here we have these PVC pipes that we can basically increase the height as the crop grows because you don't want the leaves of your crop to shade or cover those light sensors. It's also really important to make sure that you place your sensors in an area where they're not going to get wet cap the sensor, let's say when we're irrigating or when we're applying a pesticide. One really important thing to remember is to make sure and take off the cap once you're done. With that, we hope that we've given you the tools to properly measure light intensity within the greenhouse.